Welcome to this, the second webinar on the Relocate Awards 2013-14. I'm Paul Russell from the Relocate Awards team. With me is our Managing Editor, Fiona Murchie. Hello there. Hi Fiona. With Christmas just around the corner and our entry deadline of Friday the 28th of February fast approaching, now is the perfect time to start to work on your entry. In this webinar, we'll be explaining the thinking behind three of our categories, including two new ones, and who is eligible to enter them. And we'll be talking to a previous winner to find out how winning one of these prestigious awards has benefited their company, and hearing from one of our independent judges about what makes a winning entry. First, Fiona. For those who didn't catch our previous webinar, let's remind listeners of the benefits of entering. There are 12 awards covering specialist relocation categories, so there should be something for everyone. Entering the Relocate Awards brings many benefits from both a personal and a company perspective. It can, for example, raise your company's or your team's profile and your own and help you to drive up standards, recruit and retain top talent and motivate and reward your team. On our website, you'll find helpful tips on compiling a submission that will wow the judges. It's worth mentioning that the entry process is worthwhile, even if you didn't win this time around. If you're on the supplier side, considering your business objectively, asking other customers what they particularly like about your company and what, what it offers, and refining your USP can, in themselves, bring valuable insights. If you're in HR, you and your team can benefit from analysing what you did and how you did it and learning lessons for the future. We're now going to talk about some of the individual categories, including two new ones for 2013-14. First, I'd like to consider technical, technological innovation in relocation. This is an exciting and popular category, which has attracted a number of growing entries over the years. It's always great to see all the imaginative new solutions out there, from apps to software, to time-saving gadgets for the industry. Fiona. What sort of innovations would be suitable for this category? The technology can cover any area, relocation management software, tax tracking, solutions for global mobility training or communication, or cross-cultural support, for example. It can also include recruitment or talent management solutions. Last year's winner was Peregrine Immigration Management's Imiguru, a web-based database containing information on hundreds of corporate-based immigration processes to more than 50 countries worldwide. We'll hear, be hearing from their managing director shortly. And our 2012-13 winner, of course, was PwC's Travel Watch system, a comprehensive solution to business travel tracking. Hmm. The really key point to bear in mind about this category is that it's about a solution something innovative that aids or supports relocation or makes the experience better for those managing or undergoing the move. We're, we're now going to hear from one of our independent judges, Claire Harrison, about what she and her colleagues will be looking for when they assess the entries. I'm here today talking to Claire Harrison, who's been on our panel of judges for a number of years and in and in particular, she's got involved with the technology um, judging on several occasions. So, Claire, um, thanks very much for joining us. I just wonder if you could share with our readers and potential um, people who are going to enter the awards, what are your thoughts about some of the technology trends over the years? Well, I think it's been very interesting um, judging the technology awards. I uh, judged the first year, then had uh, two years when I didn't, and then have judged the last two years. And there's been um, quite a step change in the level of entries and the number of entries from that first year to the last two years. The um, entries, in the most part, have actually moved with technology. So we had, at the very beginning in the first year mostly relocation management company tools, so the in-house tools that they would either use themselves or use with their, their clients or give their clients access to. And now we've moved very much to um, Android and iPhone um, apps, so the Apple apps, which are, are very, very good. 
Um, I think one thing going forwards, if you're uh, interested in um, putting a submission forwards, is making sure that you're not just replicating your old-fashioned management information system on an app, because that is quite, um, you know, uh, although it's new technology, there's a lot of people out there doing it, so you're not actually then putting forwards a very important new piece of technology for the industry. Yes, I think I think you're right there, and I've certainly noticed the, the wide range of technology entries that are coming over the years. So just to highlight, and for other people from other sectors who might like to get involved, I mean, last year we had this fantastic win by Peregrine for their immigration tool, um, so that's in the immigration sector. We've had entries from property, etc. Would you like to perhaps just comment on if people are... Um, submitting some piece of technology from another arena, what sort of things they ought to be highlighting? Yes, well I think um, there are some very good tools out there that uh, companies have have provided, again, online and web-based tools. So it would be very nice to see um, some technology that sort of um, deals with uh, the softer side of moving people or relocation, so potentially maybe intercultural training companies that have good tools, uh, maybe language companies that have good tools online uh, where they use technology to the, um, you know, to the to showpiece it. Um, I think also um, there are some good products out there um, in the uh, property management side for the HR manager, if they've got a big workforce that, um, big expats around the world that live in um, rented accommodation, and they need to manage the leases, the um, payments of the rents, um, you know, I've seen some good technology in that area, and we don't get those type of entries, so it would be really good to open it out to those uh, companies as well. Oh, that's a great idea. So we're really looking for innovation and also solutions from all different sectors of mobility, so that's fantastic. Um, One of the things that uh, the technology category we ask for is a a demo of the product um, or the application. So could you just give people a few tips or steers on what that demo should be about? Yeah, I think I think the demo is your showcase. So we do have um, written submissions, but when we're looking at the applications, we want um, a demo that actually we can get into. Sometimes we haven't been able to get into them. Sometimes incorrect passwords are given to the judges. Um, you know, so you're not really showing your technology. So make sure that your um, YouTube video or the demo that you've set up actually does work and that people can get into it, um, or the judges can get into it. Um, We also um, like to see something that really is relevant to the submission that you've done. So it's no good having a submission and then almost you think you're looking at a completely different tool when you actually get down to looking at the uh, the demo. Mm -hmm. Some people have also said that their technology um, and whatever they're trying to showcase is still under construction, well they should probably then enter the competition in the following year. Yeah, that's a good point. And just to reiterate to people that it is important that you send in your written submission as well, do you have any sort of tips about filling in that written submission? I think in the the uh, years that I've been judge and with my um, co-judge, we really um, want to see something um, that's you know really helping. We, we, we like to see the submission that tells us how it's actually making someone's life easy or what it's doing for them. So there's a real description in there of, of the technology that you're using. Um, but it's all down to the, we really do look at the demonstrations and it's all down to that uh, at the end. So the demonstration is very important or the uh, the PowerPoint that goes with it or whatever it may be, but we do like to see the technology. Great, that's a very good answer. And then just finally, in a, nu- a nutshell, can you just summarise why people should enter the awards, why you think it's important for them? I think it's important because um, a lot of time and effort goes into um, the thought behind producing uh, a piece of kit that's going to make people's lives easier or is going to be a cost-saving tool. 
So there's a lot of development, a lot of discussions, um, and quite often they're within the companies. So they may go out and uh, test it with a sort of beta tester group. But I think it really um, gives small and medium-sized companies that might be uh, purchasing the kit or the, the application or whatever it may be, or the service from the provider. It's a, a real way of being able to... Um, project the image of your company and I think that's very important. This is a, a very good way of doing it. You're getting to a good audience and you need recognition for what is um, an incredible amount of work and effort and time and money that your company has put into the actual uh, technology. Oh well thank you very much Claire for those words of encouragement and uh, we look forward to seeing even more entries for the technology um, category this year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We hope that's been useful to anyone thinking of entering this category. If you have any queries about whether or not a particular solution is eligible, call Fiona or email awards at relocatemagazine.com. Our next interview is one Fiona did earlier this week with Sophie King of Peregrine Immigration Management, winner of the 2012-13 Technological Innovation in Relocation Award in which they discuss the importance of technology in the relocation context, why Peregrine decided to enter, and how winning has benefited the company. So I'm here today talking to Sophie King of Peregrine Immigration Management, and I remember very well at our awards ceremony um, last May when it was announced that um, Sophie had won the Technological Innovation in Relocation. She was so thrilled and excited. I think had the biggest grin of anybody in the room. So has that, um, <laughs> has that spilled over, Sophie? You still sound quite excited about things. Oh, yeah, we're very excited. I have the award on my mantelpiece. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, <laughs> I polish Brilliant. it every day. <laughs> 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 so I think it certainly had the surprise element. So, uh, so obviously, um, it was a very highly contested category, and the, we're really thrilled that the innovations and relocation um, technology has grown so much over the years. Um, and the judges are, have sort of lively debate about what can be included, and really looking for cutting edge things. Um, so you won the award for your Imiguru um, product, um, which. It, I think you said was reaching at the time 300 different corporate-based immigration processes to mm -hmm. more than 50 different countries, but that's probably moved on by now. So just tell us a bit more about how how it's moved on. Yes, yes. It has. So it's nearly 70 countries now. It's wow. 68 at the moment, and it's um, it's four. Well, it's 480. It, it fluctuates a little bit, but it's sort of in the mid to late 400 processes yeah exactly uh, which is variations on you know nationality different routes different immigration routes as well as variations based on nationality country of residence um, salary level that that type of thing can all affect an immigration process so Brilliant. yeah so just describe in a nutshell what, what it does what your innovation was and why you thought it was important to bring it to market so it's an it's an online database um, of corporate immigration processes which is searchable by nationality um, country of destination and filterable by type of dependent that the applicant might be taking you know so if you want to take your spouse or your partner or whatever and salary level and salary location um, among other things so basically it's an online library of clear and relevant and updated it's, it's updated all the time we work on it every day um, mm. rules and processes process flows and uh, details about immigration and it's a planning tool essentially it was because we thought that there were too many companies involved in immigration who didn't have instant or anywhere near instant access to data that they could understand easily. And so they were having to plan moves and relocations and um, assignments based on very poor understanding of, of how immigration really works, which is clearly terrible and difficult, you know, and a, and a very stressful situation to be yeah. in. Oh, well, that so, was fantastic. Yeah. And obviously right on the nail, just what people were looking for. And that's really what the, all, what the awards are all about, something that's innovative and it's a really fast-changing environment as you as you yeah. know, um, yeah. and attracts lots of, I mean, across relocation generally, I mean, what, what are your views about the importance of technology? 
Um, well, I think in terms of global relocation, one of the big challenges for our industry is staying on top of different um, procedures not just for immigration, but for all sorts of things connected to relocation in different countries. And not only understanding how things work in different places, but keeping on top of changes in how mm. things work and understanding different people's ways of communicating those processes and those updates and changes. And so obviously technology can be used in any aspect of, of life to massively um, impressive effect. But what we're interested in and what we think is important for relocation in terms of technology is the ability to capture knowledge and then share it instantly with with multiple people across the world so that you can have people in Brazil having the same access at the same time to the same level of detail that people in Hong Kong or Switzerland or Zimbabwe have access to. And that's only possible. When I started out in immigration, I used to say to my team, to my, you know, my consultants you know if I could write this stuff down for you I would but I can't because I'd have to keep changing it all the time and now you can because you don't have to rewrite the whole book you know things don't have to be paper documents you don't have to republish and re-edit and pull it all to pieces you can just you can use technology to make things editable very quickly and easily and also to make things accessible instantly whether people are you know on the bus or in an office or in their house or at a client site or wherever they happen to be and that's mm. what I you know that's how we're using it which is just one tiny way yeah. that technology can be used in real <laughs> but yeah. it's the way that we understand <laughs> you know yeah. no well that's great and it obviously works really well and i know that our um, judges for example said that they found it worked easily and when they were looking at your demo they had some queries and you know they were able to yeah. get in touch with you and then you you said oh that's a good point i'll do so and so and and that was yeah. a very quick, uh, sort of quick and easy process. So what about the actual entering of this technology award? I mean, the process is you have to fill in a, an entry statement and, and answer various questions. So presumably that was quite straightforward. But just to explain to people who might be considering entering, um, the, the demo that we asked for, was that particularly mm. arduous or was that something that you found quite easy no together. it was very easy very straightforward and it was very reassuring because you know not all um maybe i shouldn't say too much about this but there are some awards by some organizations where they don't take a good look and one of the things that was great for us and very reassuring for us was how you know we basically the demo we didn't have to really do very much we gave um a demo login um, access to to your judges to the relocate judges mm -hmm. and then they logged in and had a look around without us there which was a much fairer and clearer way because we weren't controlling it they were given free access basically for a limited period of time, which was you know scary <laughs> but we were confident because we know that our product is good and it meant that they had a chance to look at it themselves and then they called us they well they called me and asked me a few questions which was it was a pleasure to talk to them because you know we are still a very young company and it's interesting to hear people's comments and feedback and they had some good suggestions which were very helpful you know because yeah. i also think that the danger with technology is sometimes that you get so hung up on the technology that you forget about the people and you mm. you have to combine them together you have to listen to people and be human as well as use the power of the of the computer you know great so the overall process wasn't too scary or too intimidating no no it was so you it would was encourage no, people no. to have a go oh definitely <laughs> definitely yeah but not in my category <laughs> no no i would yeah no i would encourage everybody <laughs> to enter definitely right. so why did you enter then that leads me nicely on to that question why did you decide to enter the relocate awards uh because we're a little company and we have a brand new product which is not only new to the market but new of its kind there's nothing else like it mm. so our biggest challenge in marketing our services is that people don't not only do they not know that we exist but they don't know that such a thing as imiguru is even possible mm. so it's you know our our big thing that we need to do is raise awareness of of what we're doing and what's possible from a technological point of view in in immigration and, and relocation generally, I guess. So we therefore approved strongly of the category itself in the first place. And we thought that if we entered, it would be a great chance to tell more people about what we were doing. And, um, you know, you had some really good judges. There were some really good people who won 
um, in previous years. So we felt like we'd be in good company if we were, you know, in with a chance. And we just, you know, we like, we also, we, it's a pleasure for us to talk about our product. So it was a fun thing to do anyway. Even if we hadn't won, we would have enjoyed it, you know. And what have but, the benefits yeah. been then? Well, we were very happy. <laughs> 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 but the main things probably were that um, it was a big uh, result for our team. Our team were very, very happy. Also, we obviously, for our, well, not obviously, but our product relies on our partnership with over 100 different immigration specialists all over the world who've given us their time and their expertise, you know, based on faith in what we're doing. So it was great to be able to say to all of them, look, you know, we didn't just invent this. We didn't just make it up people do like it they do think it's good you know and it and it is because we're so it's so new we're we're just now kind of entering a you know we're, we're just kind of hitting the, the medium time <laughs> you know we're just getting a bit bigger now so it's it's all very reassuring but at that time just a few months ago we were still really you know on the verge of kind of success you know so it was great to be able to have that reassurance and kind of positive feedback from from people so and it's and it's lovely to be able to tell people that we won you know we put it on our website and our promotional material and that kind of thing which is which is nice great well thank you so yeah. much sophie it was went to a very worthy winner and all the best with your future <laughs> developments you. bye-bye thank you thank you moving on this year as you may know we've introduced the four new categories in response to changing times and feedback from the relocate audience we'll be covering them in the course of these webinars first fiona can you tell us about the new HR award, Best Managing or Growing Talent initiative? Yes, well, Paul, as we did last year, we really want to widen the appeal of the HR categories. So in addition to Best HR and Supplier Strategy or Team and Inspirational HR Team of the Year, which we'll cover in a future webinar, we've launched this new category, which we're really excited about. Talent and employee engagement are, of course, huge issues at the moment. That's why we've made the winter issue of Relocate magazine, which will be landing on desks in the next week or so, a talent and engagement special. Experience gained on international assignment is hugely important for growing talent, and development experience in the domestic market context is equally valuable in all kinds of industry sectors. The last few years have been tough ones for talent managers in most economies. At a time when the economic situation suggests that it is time to curb global mobility, many businesses around the world are chasing complex markets and, the, and need the best talent to help them achieve their objectives. By recognising the vital contribution that mobility, domestic and international, can make to developing talent and maximising ROI, this new award seeks to foster a true strategic partnership between talent and mobility. We're looking for examples of best practice in areas such as selection of talent, offering tailored solutions for countries, genders, ages and levels of seniority, as well as evidence of building a talent pipeline also how costs are managed and learning on assignment consolidated on return. Examples of end-to-end -end programs where the assignee is also developing a successor and building a local pipeline. Hmm. So the types of initiative that would be eligible can include graduate schemes that nurture the next generation of global executives and leaders, as well as career development programs for established employees ready for their next step. Repatriation is all too often neglected, so an innovative approach to support those returning from assignment would make an excellent case study for an entry. The initiative can be a work in progress. HR and mobility professionals managing domestic or international assignments can also enter. Joint initiatives between corporates and their relocation support providers are also eligible as are those from talent management, recruitment and resourcing teams and departments. So Fiona, why should people enter this category? Well, good practice deserves to be celebrated. Winning this award is a prestigious, high profile way of having your contribution to the lives of employees and to your company recognised, both outside the organisation and, just as importantly, within it, and of motivating and engaging your team. 
Entering this award shows your commitment to your organisation and provides a useful opportunity to benchmark your achievements against those of other companies. And of course, the same applies to our inspirational HR Team of the Year Award, which we'll be covering in the next webinar. Last year's winners, Lloyd's Register, was a fabulous example of a team working together on a complex project to relocate employees to Southampton. The other new category we're going to cover today is Global Health and Wellness, which reflects the gr a growing awareness amongst employers of the contribution made by health and wellness initiatives to the welfare of staff and the success of the business. It's a topic we cover regularly in Relocate magazine. We're keen to give this award as wide a scope as possible, so entry is open to a wide range of companies that supply health and wellness solutions, from international medical insurance to workplace wellness and employee assistance programmes. Suppliers of security services and emergency assistance are also eligible, as are organisations providing family support, including childcare and elder care solutions. With life expectancy growing rapidly around the world, Elder care is rising on the agenda for organisations in the UK and beyond, whose, in, whose relocating employees and international assignees may well have to combine work with caring responsibilities. You can, read, you can read of our coverage of these issues in the summer 2013 issue of Relocate magazine and see how forward-thinking employees are responding. It's important to note that this award isn't just for suppliers, Corporates may also wish to enter their in-house wellness schemes as well. In many countries, healthcare care is considered as important a component of a benefits package as a company pension. Certain industry sectors also require specialist health cover, cover such as oil and gas or the chemical industry, mining, etc. We're looking for imaginative providers who can provide end-to-end -end medical and evacuation coverage for employees and their families, even in difficult locations or in inhospitable climates. Equally, reliability and ease of access to support across more familiar locations. How do providers ensure 24-7 health cover in a flexible way that helps aid retention of talent? Employers need the reassurance that their employees' health is protected even in the most remote locations, and equally, employees won't take up a position if they feel exposed. Fiona, how does what we've been saying about the awards tie in with Relocate's new Connect and Grow initiative? During a busy autumn spent attending conferences, I was struck by a strong emphasis on engagement. From the CIPD's annual conference keynote address examining how to build the organisation of your dreams, to an emerging market conference with a powerful case study on how ING secured a place on India's best place to work list. Developing women's leaders, managing and supporting Generation Y, diversity and the partnership between talent and mobility were also on the agenda. With the recovery picking up and more talent on the move, this is an exciting time to be working in the global mobility area and managing relocation at home or overseas. We're launching a new initiative for 2014, Connect and Grow. We'll focus on generating radical yet practical ideas to address specific management challenges. The aim is to leverage collective intelligence on global mobility and relocation, widen the profession and reach out and connect with colleagues around the world. It's all about creating more value, innovation and creativity. We hope to generate some real energy and momentum, have some effective conversations and work together to solve some of the challenges of fast-paced global growth. Our awards are all about raising standards, rewarding excellence and innovative support. So if you're listening to this audio and considering entering the awards, you're just the sort of person or organisation we'd love to contribute. So please do get involved, whatever se sector you're in. Make it happen in 2014. Connect and grow. That brings this Relocate Awards webinar almost to a close. To sum up, we've had a great breadth of categories from you. And entering brings huge benefits to you and your company. It's easy, it's free to enter, and our judging panel is totally independent. The deadline for receipt of entries is the 28th of February, that's a Friday, so please make a start on your entry today. You can submit it as soon as it's ready. 
Full details on relocatemagazine.com in the special awards section. If you have any queries, please do contact us. Fiona, do you have anything to add? Only to say please enter and make these awards the biggest and best yet. I'd like to thank all those who have contributed to this webinar. In our next webinar on Friday the 17th of January from 11 to 11.30, there'll be more of last year's fabulous winners passing on their experience and sharing the benefits of entering and winning. Thank you for listening and Merry Christmas and a happy and successful 2014 from all at Relocate.